And besides, none of the Damien jokes going to make sense until you've gone and watched it. And I like making sense. It's important to me. Because I make a certain sort of sense, but just not a, a sensible one. What trees keep on growing on my tree farming area? Get rid of it. See how are these doing? Good, some of this stuff will be grown soon. Excellent. Right. There's an awful lot in Sim 3 Symbiotes Monte Vista um, playlist, but I've got to be honest with you, it's, it's, it's well worth watching. It's, uh, she's, she's spinning a, an interesting story there. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to hear. Uh, when I think of food or violence, I naturally think of Ellen. And why not? God, we used all that metal. We've used all that metal up already. Amazing. How are we doing? Uh, that's nearly built. This stuff is nearly built. Okay, so let's go and find some more metal for it then, shall we? We've gone through all these tunnels. But the simple answer is to go. Let's make some more. Our mining team is getting pretty good now. My only real worry with these now is that we're making lots of potentially ways to shell inside the base, but it's not the end of the world if it happens. Alright, a little bit more. Oh! Connor's okay, but it seems like the squirrels have been driven insane. As a slave trader passing by, and we've successfully recruited Vudia. Yep. Yeah. That's, um. First thing I, I did voices for, um. Exim Sugar was the, uh, the, her, her second big brother. Watch the first one, okay? Go back and watch the first Big Brother she did, because she did all the voices, okay? And as much as I adore my daughter, she's her daughter, her voices are not as fantastic as they could be. So go and watch it, and then go and watch the one that we all did together. Uh, me, Laura, Exim Sugar, K-pop, loads of other people. Uh, yeah, I know Sapphire. Is there any other sort of squirrels? You know, are there not squirrels that are insane? I don't believe. Quite frankly, I don't believe it. Right, get this done because that's what we came here to do. Right, I don't want you as warden because you got the same social skills as I have. Do threes for those. Um, you think you're going to be our, one of our master craftsmen. So that could be four for that and four for that. Yep, I think that's you sorted out. Let's go and get you some kit. Oh, looks like you've chosen a bed. What are you wearing at the moment? Just a t-shirt. So, wear a duster. <laughs> it's a wonderful voice. You're absolutely right. Yeah, it's it's Mrs. Potsdam after the sex change. It, absolutely brilliant. I adore it. It's adorable. Oh, where are you? Come on. Are we being attacked by waves of psycho squirrels? We shouldn't be. Turn one of those on. There's obviously a squirrel attacking us somewhere. Oh, here they come. 
Here come the Psycho Squirrels. Anyone else getting attacked? Barrow possibly took some damage there, I don't know. Oi, not finished with you yet, mate. Have some armor as well. Let's get you a weapon too. <laughs> it's a squirrel that follows you around your back garden. That's nice. Um, Laura made a joke that I've I've become a father figure to her, and I'm terribly insulted by that fact. I mean, there's nothing else. I don't. I had to have a father at age eleven. Tigress! Don't just stand there. Kill him! Grumpy, don't just stand there. Help her! Oh, no, 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 don't just shoot Tigress. It's... Actually, let's get the two of you out of here. Yeah, of course, because they've done some damage now to the sandbags, everybody is trying to come in and uh, repair them. Right, okay, hopefully that's... No, it's one more. Let's see if we can... deal with them. Yeah, it's not much of a story there, I just... Uh, even 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 my uh, girlfriend, who's the same age as uh, April and Laura, says that I come across as it, it. It just seems to be my bearing, the way that I act around people. Uh, give me advice and the occasional spanking. I mean, what can I say? Um, does Eleanor Dora ever haunt my my nightmares? Not really. Um. Though I'm, I, 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 I gotta be honest with you, I'm finding Dora easier and easier to do, and oh, it's 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 like I've gone from uh, doing these these weird intellectual strange voices to doing something that's come straight out of EastEnders, or if you don't know what the EastEnders is, straight out of the East End. If you don't know what that is, it's part of London. But I actually adore. I do doing all of them. I love doing all of them. Um, but but uh, it's 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 struck people as a bit weird it, that um, every time we do one of these, I want to pick up one of the female voices. But they're so much fun. You know, it's it's a bit like pantomime. Uh, I don't know if. America has the same tradition of pantomime as Britain has. Um, but an important part of pantomime is... What are you doing there? Kill the squirrel. Well done. Because otherwise it would follow you around all over the place attacking you. <laughs> Do I ever find myself slipping into these voices in everyday life? Uh, far, far, far more often than I would like is the truthful answer there. And there's the funny looks I get from people from time to time are a bit scary. But... Yeah, I do it. I do it much more often than uh, perhaps I should admit. Level them across. Let's sell those. Um, trade that. There we go. Weapons. Right. This is going to be a bit painful, but let's get through. Look, he's already sold some great bows and bought some great bows and short bows. 
How would Lauren have sounded? Incredibly common. Oh, I, yeah, I went, I, you think she's going to be a princess? I wanted to make her sound a little bit like this, you know. Because it's just going to add to the fun, you know. She's the Amazon princess and she sounds like she comes from the council estate. Hello, my name's Lauren. And I, I think to be totally honest with you, I got to, I, I got I got to be truthful with you. I think uh, Laura does a much better voice for there. The the, the 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 Scottish princess is is brilliant. Um, uh, so much junk, but at least we're selling it. And I think we're going to uh, bankrupt this uh, trader. Short bow, piler. We've got lots of them. We could say we've got a pile of them. <laughs> All right, short bow, piler, short bow. Ah, there we go. We bankrupted the trader and we're rich again. Yeah, I'm Lauren. I'm a princess. I'm marvellous. You got what problem with that? You can come and have a chat with me about it, all right? Yeah, lots of silver. <laughs> oh, we actually missed one. Barrow, come back here. There was that slave trader. I don't particularly want any more people, but there's somebody brilliant. Sorry, if there's somebody brilliant, we'll have them. Purchasable slaves. Info. Nope. And info. Shooting at nine is nice, but quite frankly, do I need it? No, I don't need it. Um, will you buy weapons? You'll buy we Oh, I'll have your money. Thank you very much. Short bow. Oh, short bow, piler, short bow. What did I just sell me? Oh, I just sold me LMG. Ah, buy that back. Oh, too much here. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, this is much easier. And we're going to remember to come down to the bottom and do it this way. Short bow, short bow, piler, short bow, short bow, short bow, piler, short bow, short bow, short bow, piler, short bow, short bow, short bow, M24, short bow, piler, piler, piler. It's done. It's over. It's done. Finally. Oh dear. There we go. It's mostly silver now. Which is much nicer. That's much easier to deal with. And our collection of t-shirts grows. Now how are we doing metal wise? <laughs> I love when everyone asks you what accent you should use. The answer is always the same. The Scottish. There should be no other accent used. Hey. Right. Okay. Um, let's get a bit more mining done here. Um... Because we're basically dependent on finding metals now. That's it. If we can find enough metal... ...to uh, get the ship built, we win. Otherwise, we lose. go right that's enough for a bit oh, we've done them we don't need those messages anymore yep we are so out of metal again but the ship is growing let's get this area cleared out around it a bit trader 
trees are only going to get in the way. You could use the wood as well. When I've had my YouTube channel, I started broadcasting. Well, I did a couple of videos last. Uh, I did a couple of videos in May, not last May, but August. I started doing um, proper Let's Plays. So it was about six months. Had some fun, made some good friends. Not made a particular success out of it, but I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and I think that's really all that matters. How are we doing for food? We are needing some meat. We need to meet the meat. Those two will help nicely. And yeah, there's a ton of. Again, another bug in this game is. Of those as well as people are going out there. Another bug in this game is. The mobs spawn so fast that they eat all the grass and just die. So basically, outside of the compound is now littered with uh, um, dead buffalo. <laughs> Which doctor? Which doctor? No, not that, that sort of doctor. Which doctor who? Let's put these in the pot as well. Okay, where did Hoyle 20 come from? Well, I'm really, really offended that you don't know that Hoyle was the uncle of Uther Pendragon. I mean, how can you not know that? I mean, that's, 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 that's patently obvious who Hoyle is. Um, um, he's a character from the Mort d'Arthur and the Mabinogion. Um, but uh, to be totally honest with you, um, many, many years ago when I was creating my first email address, I was sat at a computer named Hoyle. Needed a name, couldn't think of one, so just used that. And apparently there have been 19 of those already, so uh, Hoyle 20 it was. What is my haste hated food? Raw tomato. Loathe the stuff. In fact, it makes me cringe thinking about it. Um... Uh, an eclipse? Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Right, yes, I can see that would, that would actually create a, a very, very interesting... Um, <laughs> that would create a very, very interesting accent. Uh, Christopher Eccleston's northern accent along with... Uh, I'm not actually Scottish for this character, am I? That would be, that would be brilliant. That would be absolutely brilliant. Um... So, if you ever get the chance, watch some of the older Doctors uh, the, 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 from the previous set. Actually, let's ask everybody, who's your favourite Doctor? Yeah, actually, who's your favourite Doctor? I ask that from time to time in live streams. It's, uh, it's very interesting to see. So, um, I'm presuming it's going to be the newer Doctors and not the older ones. But uh, you tell me, then I'll tell, tell you my favourite. Matt Smith, good choice. I do. I do actually really enjoy him as a doctor. What are we doing? Yeah, we're still tunneling through up there. The problem is now they've got to walk all the way up here, and by the time they get all the way up here, they're hungry. So yeah, she did one, and Grumpy is going to do one or two, and then turn around and come back. It's just not efficient to do this anymore. So I actually need to build a kitchen up here. A bit late to the game? You've made a friend in me. Because there is only one real doctor, and he is Tom Baker. I am the doctor. It's absolutely brilliant with that voice and those eyes and that thousand yard stare. Absolutely brilliant doctor. And of course he was the one that I started watching. Oh dear, we're running out of power. Why are we running out of power? Uh, because we had an eclipse. Okay. 
Right, the last thing we want to do now is be attacked. I should have thought about that and turned all the lights off, actually. Thank <laughs> you.